For all you budding fountain pen enthusiasts, today I'm going to be having a look at the Pilot Falcon fountain pen. Hi there, my name is Ed Choi. Thank you for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing in my channel. I talk about everything to do with the office and today we are talking about this beautiful fountain pen from Pilot called the Falcon. Now a bit of a backstory in terms of my fountain pen journey. I started off using the Pilot V-Pen and moved up to the Pilot Kakuno, then went up to the Pilot Metropolitan and finally here I am at the pinnacle, well not quite the pinnacle, but at the top end here with the Pilot Falcon. Now in terms of price point, I will talk about rough pricing in Canadian dollars. The V-Pen was around $5, the Kakuno around $20, Metropolitan around $50, and here we jumped to about $250. Now this pen is quite beautiful and probably to no surprise, my favorite fountain pen out of the whole mix. Now let's go over the aesthetics of this pen. First off, you can see that it is a 14 karat gold trim. This is a highly polished black resin body. Now it is available in a metal body as well for a little bit more. One of the nice things I like about it, just some design considerations, a little swoosh here of the pen clip. If you look closely around the trim of the cap, you'll see nice banding with the word Pilot Japan on it. And yes, these pens are still made in Japan. In fact, pretty much all the pens uh, made by Pilot are still made in Japan, which is pretty amazing, especially these days with uh, everybody going offshore to, to make low cost items. Pilot has kept and maintained the integrity of their pens, which uh, I really love and appreciate. Now you can see it's just a flat cap over here. Again, 14 karat gold trim, 14 karat gold trim. The end of the pen, it is a screw cap. And when I post this, it has a very, very nice balance to it. And one of the first things you'll notice if you use a lot of fountain pens, the first things you'll see is actually the nib. And for this nib, you can see how it's curved here. And it does give a little bit of flex. Now this is the soft extra fine nib. There are different nib sizes available. I'll put all the descriptions in, um, or I'll, I'll put all the nib sizes uh, in the descriptions down below. And what you'll see here, if you go a little bit closer, is some writing here on the Pilot fountain pen nib. So this is again, this uh, soft extra fine. And you can see the plastic feet over here. So great pen, very lightweight. So don't expect a super heavy pen. This is because it's a light resin body. This is actually very ergonomic. So it's not gonna provide, it's not gonna put a lot of strain on your hand when you're writing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill up this pen with ink. I'll show you how that converter works. And from there, we're gonna do some writing tests and I'll share some of my feedback on this pen. All right, we're gonna go ahead and fill the Pilot Falcon pen. And twist the cap. And it comes with a CON40 converter. And you can see there's three beads in here that's an agitator and essentially that uh, prevents the ink from sticking from the side and keeps the ink flowing smoothly. We're gonna go ahead and fill it with uh, one of my favorite colors from, it's an Irishizuku Tsuji ink. It's a beautiful color. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring, twist this little plunger all the way down to the bottom. We're gonna dip it into the ink. And then we're gonna all the way back. I'll try to move my finger so you guys can see it. here and you can see there's a little bit of a gap air gap here so to reduce that <clears throat> we're just going to repeat the process a few times and you'll see that we'll get a better fill here it's not going to get filled all the way that pretty darn close. So I'm gonna do it one more time. There's some air bubbles in there. And that's it. It's always handy to have a little paper towel on, the, on hand so we can just wipe it clean. Look at that beautiful ink though. Clean that. That is it. It's all filled with beautiful ink. Put that back in. 
And next up, we're gonna test out the pen and see how it writes. All right, guys, uh, I'm gonna test out the Pilot Falcon pen here on my Midori notebook. Uh, this notebook is actually made in Japan as well, so I thought it'd be a good pairing with a fine Japanese pen and a fine Japanese notebook. Now, one of the things that I noticed about the Midori notebooks is that, or one of the things that you'll notice about the Midori notebooks is that the page itself, it's, um, it feels like you're touching ivory. It's very, very smooth. So I thought it'd pair well with uh, this Pilot fountain pen. So I'm gonna excuse my writing here. I am not the most proficient writer, but I will do my best to give you guys a good writing example of what or how, I should say, this pen performs. And this pen just glides on the paper. So I do feel like right off the bat, it just feels like a really, really nice mix. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit heavier pressure. Uh, it's gonna be hard to see, but there's a little bit of flex to it. Flex the nib. But it's not so mushy that Kind of hard to write it's actually just a perfect amount of flex in the nib i'm gonna go a little bit heavier just so you can see the strokes a little bit harder so it's quite nice now what i love about the extra fine nib and this is probably my favorite i've been using a lot of medium nibs but what i do like is the precision very very precise and you can write super small and it's gonna be a little bit hard to see on camera but this is very small writing so if you're into journaling you're writing really small or trying to maximize the real estate on a page this extra fine nib is for you also if you're writing uh, with different characters uh, whether it be like Japanese writing Chinese writing or Arabic writing this would be really handy to have because it can be so precise. And this is probably one of the reasons why it's uh, really popular with the Asian market as well. So it's unlike other uh, European pen brands where they have extra fine nibs, but they're not as fine as this Japanese brand. So that's my name in Korean. So beautiful. I just love how this performs. This is just such a pleasure to write with. And I'll just try to do. That's the extent of my calligraphy <laughs> or my cursive writing. So it's not so good. I do need to work on these skills. Uh, maybe that'll be my next video in terms of a how to or how to write beautifully with a fountain pen. But overall, this is it. Um, this is the Pilot Falcon on the Midori paper. Great match, uh, very happy with the performance of this pen. I especially like how precise it is. And the other thing too, I mentioned this before, the pen, because it's um, a lighter body, it doesn't take a lot of strain. So I can actually um, write this with very little pressure. And that's like pretty much no pressure at all and I should say zero pressure. So it's very ergonomic in that you can write for hours without getting a lot of uh, wrist strain. So that's a, just another consideration that a lot of people don't think about when they're using a fountain pen that they're very ergonomic. And again, this is very light. Um, just to demonstrate, I'll just maybe even do this just to show you how well it writes with very little pressure. So there you go. The Pilot Falcon on the Midori paper. I love it, it's awesome. Well, if you made it this far in the video, I'm assuming you liked it. Feel free to share this video with your friends, family, and coworkers. I'd also love to hear from you in terms of what your thoughts are on the Pilot Falcon pen and in fountain pens in general, leave a comment down below. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you smash on that like button and click on the subscribe button so you can stay tuned for my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.